All right, so we're we're done dorking around with the uh, the way the form looks. So I'm just cleaning up this a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and start talking about the code. So I'm going to clear out our workspace here a little bit, and we're just going to have the login.php and the index.php, and make sure this is the admin index, not the uh, front end. So what I'm going to do is we're going to we're probably going to have to mess around with the way we have this uh, our setup file uh, as far as in the admin area. But f so for right now let's just keep it as it is. But above here, let's make another set of PHP tags. And what we need to do first is to check and see if somebody's logged in. And if not, we need to send them to the login page. And we, we do this with sessions. And uh, just a layman example or a definition for, for sessions. Um, think of session as kind of like uh, how we've used the git array. Um, PHP is storing the parameters we, we put up in the URL into an array called git. Well, we can also take advantage of this session array, which is uh, formatted the same way as the git array with the uh, underscore then session in all caps. So what we do is we create a key or two and put it in there. And what we want to check for on the index page and pretty much every other page after this is to see if there is a username that is stored in the sessions. So we first need to start the session. And that's done with a pretty simple function, session underscore start. So now we've got session started. Now we need to go ahead and check to see if the username has been set. We're going to do if, and we're, we're going to use the isSet function, but we're going to check to see if it's not set. And to do that, we start it with an exclamation point, and then isSet. So that means if it's not set, so inside the isSet function, we need to send it the session and then the key. Now the key we're going to create, we're going to call it username. And then we need our curly brackets at the end here. And we need to tell it what to do. And what we want to do is redirect us back to the login page because if username has not been set then that means we haven't properly logged in so to do that we run the header function and inside here we need to tell it where to go so in quotes we do location colon space and then the name of the page or URL that we want it to go to in this case we just want login dot php we need to make sure we close that at the end and save that. So let's hop over to our browser. We'll go over here and we'll, we'll take login off and we'll just go to slash admin which is going to attempt to open the index page. If I hit enter, it didn't even load the index page, went straight to login. And that's because we haven't logged in yet. Because when we log in, we'll be setting that username key. So let's just do it again here, and you'll see if I take that off, nothing. If I try to type in index.php manually, boom, takes us to login. Now, what we're doing here is going to be a pretty simple login. Um, we can make it even more secure down the road. So now let's hop back over to our login page. So in login.php.php, let's come down here to our form and let's look here. So we've got our label, which is just the label above the uh, field here. The type is going to be what type of information is going to go in there. So this is going to be email. You could just set this to text if you wanted to. 
um, class form control, this is for bootstrap to know what to do with it. ID, we don't necessarily need an ID at the moment. And then placeholder, placeholder is a cool thing that came out in HTML5 and that is the kind of grayed out text inside here that's here until we type. Um, that actually used to be a really annoying thing um, to do. You used to have to use JavaScript in order to pull that off. So that's pretty cool that now it's wrapped up into HTML. So let's go ahead and for the ID, this really just has to do with um, the label for associating it with the uh, input. Um, so we're not really doing anything fancy with this, but let's just go ahead and take the example part out and we'll just call this email and then change this for up here to email. But one thing we're missing that we need is we need the name parameter. So we do name equals and then double quotes. And the name is extremely important because this is how we're going to refer to the value that was put in here once the form has been submitted. And this is when we start using the post array. So it's kind of like the get array, only this time we're sending things in a form instead of through the URL. So this name needs to match whatever key we, we use. So if we just call this email, then the way we access it, which I'm just going to give you an example here, would be post email. So that's the key we need in order to get to it. So take that out of there. That was just an example. And now we need to do the same thing for the password. So let's go ahead and change the ID first. Password. Change that up here in the four. Now the type is password. And what's nice about that is that automatically hides the characters. So class, we ignore that. We keep that as it is. Got the ID. Placeholder's fine. Now we need to add a name. Name equals password. So we'll save that. And now let's come up here to the form because we need to tell it what we want it to do, what the action's going to be. So action equals and we just want it to come back to this page, so login.php. And we'll go ahead and tell it what method we want. And that's going to be post. We could put in git if we wanted to, but then it's going to put all the values up in our URL. And that's not good, especially when you're putting in passwords. So we'll save that. So just for an example, let's go ahead and above the form here, inside the panel body, let's do some PHP tags. And we're first going to check to see if the form was submitted. So we'll do if. If post. Which is just going to check to see if the form was submitted. And we'll do post. And then for the key, we want it to match the email or whatever the name is for each field. And uh, we'll just do echo. I'm going to put a HTML break tag in here, so that's going to knock this down to the next line. And then echo post password. Which you're, you're definitely not going to want to do this <laughs> live but I just want to show you what happens when the form is submitted and how you can take advantage of those values once it's been submitted. So hop back over to the browser. Let's uh, reload the page. And uh, this is putting in some preset values from other pages in here. So let's go ahead and cut this out. And uh, we'll just call this email. At email.com and some password. Hit submit. 
So when I hit submit, it's going to reload login.php, but only this time that post array is going to have values for email address and password. There you go. So it echoed out what I typed in for email and what I typed in for password.